Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Do it yourself, easy knife, spine, metal etching. Now, when I started this project, it's a red, white, and blue patriotic uh, themed knife. I wanted to uh, add some detail onto the spine. Now, normally I do some spine file work. I basically just couldn't figure out how I could possibly carve little stars uh, in the spine or onto the spine uh, with files uh, or with a Dremel. So I decided to try metal etching on the spine. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first time this is done. I've never seen um, metal etching on a spine before, but uh, anyway, here goes. Uh, gave it a shot and it, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, start like with almost any metal etching. You have to block the areas that you don't want etched. Um, now I'm going to use a white vinyl transfer film. Um, I bought this down at the local uh, art supply store, Michael's Art Supply. Um, I also picked up some clear um, transfer film. Um, I thought I could trace the little stars. It would just be easier um, than drawing them on the white. But after I've worked with both, I, I kind of like the white better. It's a little bit heavier. Uh, it's a little bit more sticky. Um, and I think it, it just holds up a little bit better um, to the heat from the metal etching process. Now, of course, before I applied that film, I did um, rub down the metal or the steel with uh, an alcohol pad and I degreased it. Um, after the film is in place on the uh, spine, I'm going to use a artist razor knife to slowly cut out and carefully cut out each star. Um, it's a little bit time consuming um, and you need good eyes in order to do this, uh, but it really wasn't hard at all. It just, just takes a little bit of time. Um, when you're cutting out these stars, uh, do it realizing that you're you're going to cut away the background and lift off the background. So you really want the stars to be intact and probably without uh, any cut lines running through them. You really don't want that uh, etching to go through even a cut line on the vinyl uh, to create a, a line on the finished star. After all of the stars are cut out of the vinyl, you're going to slowly and carefully lift away the background vinyl, um, leaving the stars in place on the spine of the knife. Um, now, again, normally I would I would do this with a pair of tweezers. Um, either one of my kids borrowed my tweezers, or more than likely, I just didn't put them away uh, where they belong, and I can't find it. Um, in either case, I just use the razor knife um, and my fingers to peel away all of the background vinyl uh, from the spine. Now because we're going to be etching very close to the corner or the edge of the spine, um, I did want to protect that edge a little bit. Um, I didn't want any of the salt water dripping down or, or electrical current etching uh, the sides of the spine. So I used uh, the same white vinyl material and I'm just going to basically um, you know, put a piece on each side of the spine to protect that corner or that edge. Uh -uh. And I think you could do this with anything. You could do it with a piece of electrical tape if that's what you had. Once that's on, um, again, I went back to a, a razor blade or a razor knife, and I just uh, trimmed it down so that it is basically flush with the top uh, edge or the top surface of the spine. And hopefully that, those, uh, that coating will just prevent a little bit of uh, the corner from being protected uh, so that when you mount your handles or scales uh, there won't be deep gouges uh, on the corner of the spine or on the edge of the spine. Alright, so now I can begin the metal etching. Um, I've hooked up to a 12 volt battery charger, automotive battery charger. I've connected the positive lead to the knife. I'm holding the knife in a uh, clamp. I'm not touching it at all. I'm just holding um, the negative end and I've um, wrapped up some gauze and I've dipped that into a solution of salt water. Uh, they say about two to four tablespoons 
per quart of water. Um, I didn't measure at all. I just poured a dump, bunch of salt into the container um, and it seems to do the job pretty well. You want the gauze to be moist but not soaking wet. You don't want the liquid or the, uh, the salt water dripping down on the edge of the spine. You want it contained uh, just underneath the gauze. And basically the process is to leave that gauze in place um, and work you and, and leave it in place for 10 to 15 seconds at a time and then slowly work your way down the entire length of the spine of course overlapping as you go now different knives thicknesses and different materials will require a different length of time with the metal etching I really wanted a kind of a deep etch this is an automotive spring steel uh, the tang is very thick uh, almost or slightly larger than quarter inch in, di uh, in thickness um, and I ended up um, doing three or four passes um, of etching, each one, you know, 10 seconds a piece. So you figure each area was, was etched for a total of 40 or, or 45 seconds. Now you can check to see if the etching is deep enough. Uh, just take a, a paper towel, uh, dip, in a little, dip it in a little of that uh, water, and then just dab it onto the tang. You don't really want to wipe because you don't want to displace any of the little uh, stars or whatever your design is. You don't want to displace any of that vinyl. Um, and you can scratch then the surface with your fingernail and you can kind of get a gauge as to how deep that etching has gone. Once you're satisfied uh, that the etching is deep enough, um, you can just wipe it down a little bit and then you can uh, peel away all of that white vinyl doing a final inspection here, making sure that, that every area has been etched kind of uniformly. And then again, because I don't have tweezers, I'm going to use that razor knife and I'm just going to peel away uh, each uh, star, the vinyl covering each star, as well as the side vinyls. Once the vinyl is removed, um, you can use a little 1500 grit emery paper and just lightly polish the stars. And we'll get rid of some of the darkness on the actual etching uh, and it will really highlight um, anything that was not etched. So basically that's, that's the effect that I was looking for. I wanted the stars to be nice and bright and shiny uh, with, a, uh, with a dark background. You won't, just like with spine file work, you really won't appreciate how good this looks until you mount um, the scales. But you can get an idea just by holding uh, the rough cut scales in place. And you can see the detail uh, and how that really is going to enhance uh, this particular patriotic themed knife. Now this is uh, some images of the finished product. So I etched the blade on this knife. I etched the tang on this knife. Uh, I used a red, white, and blue um, micarta handle, uh, all to give it that uh, patriotic theme. And I was very happy with the way uh, that the, uh, the spine etching came out. I think it really enhanced this particular knife. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And I ask that you please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.